Okay, so this is the bathroom remodel project. We have a built-in that's gonna be removed. The uh, toilet and the sink will be the last to be removed in the demolition. Of course, mirror will come off the wall. Light fixture needs to be replaced. Possibly the medicine cabinet, if we can squeeze it in there, we're gonna keep it um, the way it is because it does uh, go into the wall a little bit, giving us a little more storage in such a small space. And um, the tile will go from the, the floor to the ceiling, and then the rest of this linoleum is gonna be replaced with um, marble tile. So a uh, new cabinet will go down there. That will be a matching oak cabinet to match the built-in. And um, of course you're gonna want to mask off the vent. So I will turn the vent off and then put a plastic mask over to keep the dust out of the demolition, the demolition dust out of the um, a ventilation system. And first things first, the, um, it's going to be the tile and this uh, cast iron um, shower base with the ceramic, uh, the ceramic coating. That's going to come out. We're going to assess the subfloor. Seeing what's going on there is very important to getting in gear and knowing how much, if any, water damage has happened. That's very typical in a bathroom this old. So um, we're going to see. We're going to see what happens. I look forward to updating you on the progress and taking some more videos as we go along. Next step, uh, well maybe the first step is really, you know, you're gonna need to make sure that you have access to the uh, water shutoff for your house because as we remove pieces that are controlling the flow of water, you may spring a leak at any moment, so you want to be able to shut off the main uh, source of water in and out of the house. Uh, you could probably do this with a screwdriver, a adjustable crescent wrench, and a nice pair of pliers. So here we go, and let's go take a look at what's going on in here. Okay, this is better than I thought because after um, after we experienced some flooding here a couple of years ago, this was just solid dirt um, because of all of the, um, how much water had moved around. And uh, we have really sandy soil, so this basically needed to be shoveled out. It was almost um, five gallons of dirt filled up a whole five gallon bucket. So then we have the, the shut off valve with nice access. And then, um, you know, you can just get down here, get down here, and you can give it a twist. And then um, that's how you're ready to turn off your water if you hit, if you hit something bad. But the, pro the problem I'm trying to allude to is if you don't have access to that valve portion, you're going to have to dig it out while there's water leaking in your house. So, like, make sure you have access to this before you get started. Another consideration is once you tear out the the uh, toilet, you're gonna need you're gonna need a bathroom still. So that's why you get this. You know, you get a porta potty while you're doing this renovation work, so you can hopefully um, not have too many issues, like you're having to go over to a neighbor's house or something. You want this type of access to make sure that you don't have, um, to just like leave, leave your house just to even use the restroom. Okay, so um, next part of the preparation, you know, got a little music to work with and you got to put a drop cloth down. So it's time to make sure everything's out of all of the cupboards. You don't want dust getting on anything. Uh, I decided not to um, mask that up because mask up the vent because there was a nice uh, closing louvers that took care of that. 
I have my step ladder so I can get in here. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is take this mirror off of the wall, that's gonna go, and then I'm gonna get both of those uh, glass shower doors off. Once you remove all this glass, you're gonna make the situation a lot safer for yourself because you're gonna start doing demo, it's gonna shake the walls and might break the glass. Then you're gonna spend a lot of time cleaning up that you don't need to clean up, you know, doing things that you could have avoided creating more work for yourself. So think think about it first, then make a, make a good move safety-wise to get any breakable material out. Well, uh, the mirror came out nicely. That was, uh, that was good. Uh, then uh, one of the shower doors, the safety glass, got a little too much pressure on it as we were popping off the top of the frame, and then it just went. Um, you have to be very careful when you get all of the uh, safety glass going in every direction and it is a big mess. So now that's going to slow us down a little bit, but well, one out of two or two out of three ain't bad. And we're just going to keep going. Okay. So now that, now that you got the um, shower frame out, the glass out, fixtures off the wall, now it's ready to start getting in here. We start peeling it off. Okay, it's peeling off real nicely and it just starts rolling back. You're gonna want some wire cutters to cut through the wire that's holding it all back. Okay, so it looks like things are going pretty well into the demolition. We got about three quarters of the tile out. Yes, it is messy. There's going to be water on the ground. You know, we're trying to trying to uh, turn off the isolation valves here. Now the the sink's ready to come off. Okay, we're just we're still going. Okay, it looks like we got the sink out and we're on that last portion of tile coming out of the shower and as soon as we get that tile out we'll take the plumbing back to the uh, to the wall and then we're going to start getting this cast iron uh, shower shower base out um, with it's cast iron with the ceramic top so we're going to pull that out and then we're going to see what's going on underneath. That's, that's really where we might find some surprises. So we have to, um, of course, you know, we're started well in advance of the, of the tile, uh, crew coming in here and getting going on here because if there's structural stuff that we need to address underneath here, then we're going to find that out shortly.